Hello everyone, this is a Hisense newer TV between a year to two years old. So you can see the TV turns on. It's an Android TV software, Google. And it shows the Google. Uh, then it's go off. So that's what it's doing. No, still. Yeah, it flashed one time, but it went off. Uh, it's not the. Yeah, it's not a backlight. I don't think it's a backlight problem because I don't see the screen. Press the power button again. The same thing, the TV was off. Because this light here, it was red. Yeah, usually this problem is linked to the EMMC flash. Yeah, like about 100% it should be like a main board issue. It's a software issue. And uh, the operation system that the TV works with is cryptid and that's why the TV keep uh, boot looping usually this happen uh, during the updates regular updates or just the system software is crashed by itself so there is a fix for it and uh, we are going to need uh, to download the firmware that's matching that specific TV is not any high sense firmware gonna work for other models is you need a specific model I did search online for that one there is no uh, so high sense 70h 650g There is no update. Yeah, there is no update. And just go to the technical support and or you go to uh, let's chat and uh, give them the model number serial number the address for name just a basic information and it will open a case for you then the license is going to contact you by email and here the they contact me and they sent me the link and the instruction how to do the update. I already download the link, I already download the software, and we are going to put it in the flash drive. This is for the specific TV, so you can't ask, Can I have the link? This download is linked uh, to the to my email address. So let's put the flash drive. Already download the program, the firmware there. So let's go to this PC from here. That's the flash drive. Just click this PC. Right click here. Format. Keep it FAT32. Yep, it's done. This firmware, we can, yeah, you can open it with the WinZip or WinRAR. 
we drag this file to the USB. We don't put a folder in USB. We don't rename this uh, this file. Just keep it as is. So extracting the file to USB is almost done. This is the USB. And if we click to it, we see just the file. There is nothing else. No folders or anything else. So we follow the link. We already download the firmware. Then uh, extract. So the file.pk. Uh, we copy it to the FT32 formatted USB. We already formatted the USB FAT32. And we put the file to it. So there is nothing in the USB. So we are not going to change or rename the file. Safely eject. Here we can eject the flash drive. So here the flash drive is removed. Okay, and turn off the TV. Plug the USB to the TV. So we need to go to the top USB. Uh, then we need to unplug the TV from the wall. Press and hold the power button. On the TV, remote control. Mm, I don't have the remote control for the TV, but I do have this insignia. It's work with the same signal. So I'm going to use that one. I don't know if this, this option here, it's work with the, the button and the TV. So software update and the software update is going to show on the screen. After that, we need to let go the power button. So we wait the software update to finish. So the software update is going to do everything by itself. You don't do to, you don't have to do anything. Don't touch the TV. Don't touch the remote. The process take about five to eight minutes, and uh, when the update is done, so the screen is going to, the update screen is going to disappear, and the TV will will come as a normal. Then after that, we remove the USB from the TV and the TV is updated. So let's do it. You don't have to take the TV apart for the firmware update. But as a TV repair business, I need to take the TV apart, check it to see if it's, you know, any capacitor, any burner, bad connection cable. But you don't need to take the TV apart. So we're going to plug... TV is off and unplugged and we plug the flash drive to the top USB this one here this is the bottom one then we plug the TV to the wall the red light is on but we're not gonna press the power button We are not going to press the power button yet. So I'm going to push the power button and hold it. Software update. After you see the screen, you just leave the power button. So we wait for the software update to done and uh, we go next process. When the update is going, you can see the, the USB is flashing. So the update is done. The TV is restart by itself. The light over there is flashing. And we have the Hisense logo. The TV is going to boot the system and uh, it's going to be like uh, 
factory reset as well. Yeah, now the USB flash drive is not flashing anymore. We can remove it. If you install a different TV model firmware in a wrong TV, you may have black screen or you may have like a screen resolution, picture like flipped, or even you may have like discoloring. So installing the right firmware matching your TV is very important. Yeah, now it's staying uh, longer. It's not like uh, the 30 seconds restart and looping. So we just will wait till we see the home screen. So that's all for this video, thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you again.